So welcome back guys. In the last video we took down a sycamore tree and put it on the mill and it turned out some really nice lumber but a lot of y'all mentioned that sycamore lumber is best quarter sawn. Apparently it's got a gray fleck appearance to the grain. I'm not sure because I've never seen it but that got me thinking. I have never actually quarter sawn anything on my mill and I don't know how to do it. I've seen pictures of how to do it and I probably watched a video on how to do it. I'm not sure but I really think it's high time that I learned. So we have, we have got a red oak tree here. It's a pretty nice sized red oak. I'll give you a closer view in a minute, but we're gonna take this tree down and we're gonna put it on uh, the little LT10 and see if we can get some quarter sawn lumber out of it. So here it is guys. This is a red oak tree. Uh, it's a really nice one, very straight tree. And it's about 19 or well, nearly 19 inches wide at chest height. And uh, you know, I think it'll I think it'll put out some very very pretty lumber. This is kind of one of those catch-22 situations. I like looking at this tree, and I'm sure it produces some nice food for deer and stuff like that. Uh, and it's it's really pretty to look at, but I think it'll be prettier on my on my living room floor. So um, so let's go ahead and clear out from around it a little bit, and get some of this junk out of the way and get started.
All right, guys, so here's our log. This is the bottom section. Uh, this is the top of the bottom section. It's about 16 or so inches wide. Uh, the base was so exactly 16 inches wide. Actually, the base is around 20 inches or something like that. So we'll just try to get it even when we put it on the mill and, uh, and go from there. But uh, as I understand it, our goal here is to uh, produce some lumber that the grain ends up being 80 to 90 degrees uh, with the board. So it's essentially vertical grain. I guess, I don't know if you'd call it CVG, like clear vertical grain wood. Uh, that makes sense to me. But anyhow, it's supposed to be vertical grain. So the grain is supposed to be running straight up and down. So uh, I, will, I will put a, uh, put a link here, put a little card in this so that you can see where I got most of this info from. But Woodmiser has it on its, uh, their website the easy way to quarter saw. Uh, the video that I watched in preparation for this, I forgot the gentleman's name, but I'll, I'll link it. I'll link it to you and, and let you know. But anyhow, so what we want to do is we want to take this log, we want to split it straight down the middle, just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn it. And after we turn it, we're going to go, we're going to bring the mill head to about four or so inches above above the heart so that's going to be about right there and a disadvantage that i've got is that my mill is pretty small uh, and this is a small log and i think i would probably get a lot more quarter sawn lumber out of a uh, out of a you know obviously a much bigger log but this is about all my mill is going to handle so that's about four inches or so above uh, the, the heart of the tree so let's mark that uh, just to show just to show where we are. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this middle one first, cut the, split the log right in half, then we're gonna turn those two halves up, and we're gonna come down and we're gonna cut this right here, and we're gonna get rid of these two cants, and then we're gonna keep coming down until uh, we run out of quarter saw and lumber. This right here, I believe this grain is gonna end up being closer on this board, is gonna end up being a lot closer to 45 degrees, this board is going to be getting a lot closer to what we want. This board is probably probably going to be, it's going to be close, I'm not sure. But this right here, I think, is going to be, is going to be our, our quarter sawn lumber right here. These few pieces. So that means we're hopefully going to get, so that's four. We may get six. So three on this side and three on this side. Make it six quarter sawn, bo quarter sawn boards out of this. We'll just see. Let's see how it goes. Let's put it on the mill and see what happens. So here it is guys, uh, as you can probably tell, this end down here, which would have been the base end of the tree, is kind of, I mean, it's flared out a whole lot more than the top of course. It's probably about 20 inches wide, whereas the, where I've got it in the throat of the mill is about 16. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of try to shave that off and uh, flip it around a few times and see if I can get it even. It looks like 16 inches is about the maximum for splitting a log in half on this mill. 
uh, it just barely does fit in there but if i you know if i try to mill through this it's going to get stuck at the other end so let's see if we can even this log up some and go from there so we're down at the what would be the end of the mill here and you can see it's not quite down to the exact center of the heart and uh, the blade isn't rather and it's not going to go through so I'm going to flip this log over and see if there's less material on the top side and maybe that'll give us some more clearance That corner right there is still going to catch on the mill, so we're going to have to get the chainsaw. The heart is very close. It's not perfect as far as the depth on either end. I don't have tow boards on this mill, so I guess it's kind of difficult to get it uh, to try to even these things up properly. Um, but anyhow, we're going to get the chainsaw and see if we can mill, uh, not mill, but you know, cut that corner right there off, and then I think we're going to be able to saw this thing in half.
So here's the result of that. It looks like it's going to clear all the way through and uh, the blade is at a depth that is going to uh, looks like it's going to have no trouble hitting the heart of the log all the way through the log so let's go ahead and give it a try guys So now that we've got our slabs cut, we're going to yank those off of there and put these to the side. So that's looking pretty nice right there. So like I mentioned earlier, the first few cuts, I probably really didn't go deep enough on these. So the first few cuts I expect uh, won't be quite quarter sawn but I believe we're going to get down into it pretty fast. So uh, let's keep going and see what we get out of this.
I'm at a point now where I'm going to have to start readjusting things. I came within about a 32nd of an inch of hitting my clamp on that last run. So let's go ahead and get some of these off. I'm excited. This is kind of like opening a Christmas present. I have no idea what's going to be up under here. Let's take these top couple layers off and see if we've got quarter sawn lumber up under it. Pretty, I think we're getting close. I think that's what we were looking for guys I think this is what we were looking for oh there it is there it is there it is that's what I was looking for right there look at that Oh wow, look at that. That is beautiful. I hope this is doing it some justice. Guys, this is gorgeous. Let's get some water on this and bring that out some. Wow. There it is guys, that's the prize right there. Little defect down here at the end, but I'm still gonna get a lot of good stuff out of this. Well, there's more here, let's see if we can get the rest of it out. So guys, I think this is about what we were after. Um, we got it about right. There's about, well, there's six pieces here. One, two, three, yeah, six pieces. And I believe, Cricket, you're such a good helper. Such a good helper. Anyway. I believe this is what we were looking for. Y'all just wished you had as good a help as I've got. Cricket, you're going you're gonna to get hurt. Anyhow, let's get some close-up shots of this and see if we can bring out the green some. So this was one of our goals, guys, to get this grain right here, this end grain at about 80 to 90 degrees vertical with the board, and it looks like we achieved that just right. 
So that's going to do it guys. If y'all have stuck around this long, I know this has been a pretty long video, but if y'all have stuck around this long, I really appreciate you watching me trying to learn to quarter saw. That was my first log that I attempted to quarter saw. And uh, I really think that my mill is not so suited for quarter saw and big stuff because 16 inches is the biggest thing that I can possibly get in that throat. It can cut a log that's 19 and a half inches wide but that doesn't really take into account the rest of the throat of the mill. So you can cut a board that's 19 and a half inches. The maximum size is 24 inches, but uh, the problem is uh, you know, the rest of that round log has got to go up into the throat of that mill, and there's just not enough clearance to put anything bigger than 16 inches to saw in half. But anyhow, I'm quite pleased with how this turned out, especially for my first time. I'd love to hear from y'all, from, from, from some of you guys that have, uh, have got more experience with quarter saw and lumber. Uh, how did I do? What can I do better? Uh, is there a better method to do this? Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear from some of you guys that have been doing this for quite some time and see what your thoughts are. But anyhow, I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks to all the new subscribers that have come on lately. The channel has really taken off and I appreciate your support. And I will see you next time.